Praise the Lord, children. Good morning to you. I hope you are all fine. My name is Reverend Bonnie, and I am so happy today to share with you the Word of God. And before we begin sharing, I would like to pray for us so that God will be with us through these few minutes we'll be sharing together. Let us pray together. Lord, we thank you. We thank you for the opportunity to come before you. We thank you especially for the children who are at home. We thank you also for their parents. We pray that you continue to protect us, continue to protect the children as they remain at home. And we pray that you will make a way for them to be able to go back to school. You will make a way for them to be able to be safe from COVID-19 and also to be safe from any other dangers the devil may be bringing upon them. Lord, bless this message that we are going to hear and also let your spirit open up our inner hearts, our eyes to see you and to know you more. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. So I am so glad that we have this opportunity to come into your homes through uh, the YouTube videos, through these videos that we make and send out to you. So, you know, as children, we love to sing. And today I have a good song for you. And you know, we sing this song when you come to church and it is called the blessing song. Can we sing together, children? Even your parents, we can sing together as we are all at home. May God give you eyes to see All that is good, all that is good The courage for anything May you be strong May you be strong. May God give you ears to hear His loving voice, His loving voice, speaking all around you. So, dear children, today we are going to just have a small study and uh, a reflection on David and Goliath. David was a young boy, but also a blessed and talented boy. I want us to read from the Bible a small portion uh, from the book of First Samuel, First Samuel chapter 17, verse 41 to 49. It is a very long story, but I'll just read a few verses so that uh, you know what I'm talking about in the Bible, about David and Goliath. So First Samuel, the whole start story starts from verse 1 up to, up to verse 58. But I'm just going to read a few verses so that it is not too long for you. So let us start from verse 41. Meanwhile, the Philistine with his shield bearer in front of him kept coming closer to David. He looked David over and saw that he was only a boy, ruddy and handsome, and he despi despised him. He said to David, am I a dog that you come at me with sticks? And the Philistine cast David by his gods. Come here, he said, and I'll give your flesh to the birds of the air and the beasts 
of the field. David said to the Philistine, You come against me with a sword and spear and javelin, but I come, but I come, but I come against you in the name of the Lord Almighty, the God of the armies of Israel, whom you have defied. This day the Lord will hand you over to me, and I will strike you down and cut off your head. Today I will give the carcasses of the Philistine army to the birds of the air and the beasts of the earth and the whole world will know that there is God in Israel. All those gathered here will know that it is not by sword nor spear that the Lord saves, for the battle is the Lord's and he will give all of you into our hands. And the Philistine moved closer, attacking him. David ran quickly toward the battle line to meet him, reaching in, into his bag and taking out a stone. He slung it and struck the Philistine on the forehead. The stone sank into his forehead and he fell face down on the ground. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God for the encouraging words from the book of First Samuel, chapter 17, verse uh, 41 to 49. Today, children, I want to encourage you that even if you're still young, even if you're small, you are strong in the Lord. You are mighty in the Lord. As long as you trust in the Lord, God will always be on your side. Now David was a young boy and he had big brothers. He had brothers who were strong. He had brothers who were in the army. And you know, the, uh, the, the brothers were also fighters. So David used to remain at home with his father. His father was old, his parents were old. He remained home to do house chores, to, to help the parents, and also he used to go out in the field to take care of the goats and sheep and the lambs. David was a humble boy, and also he was not only doing uh, things at home, but he was talented. He was a singer. He would sing good songs, and he would play good instruments. He would play the guitar. And you know, he was a, man, a boy who loved God. He would sing songs to our God. So, as you're at home in this long lockdown, are you singing songs to God? Are you singing songs of praise? Are you helping your parents like David did? This is a time to also get closer to your God. As we have read the Bible here and learned the story of David, there are some things we have not read. Please, I encourage you to read the word of God. Read uh, with your parents and you'll know so much more about David so that you get encouraged to do the things that David did for God. So one time there was a war between the Philistines and the Israelites. The Philistines were so many and they had very strong soldiers and the Israelites were also uh, many but their soldiers were not very strong. And now, the Philistines came to challenge the, the soldiers of Israelites, of Israel. And they told them, we will bring out Goliath if anybody among the Israelite soldiers is strong enough to fight him and kill him and win the battle we will be your servants. The, the Israelites were scared and the Philistines were sure 
that they would beat anyone. So they chose Goliath. Goliath was ready to fight. But the, 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 the Israelites were scared. They didn't know who to send. So because David was a man who loved his brothers, he was a child who loved to be sent. They send him to do something and he goes to do it. So it was during lunchtime. David went home to pick food to take to his brothers who were in the war. And he was happy. He went running. He took food for his brothers in the battlefield. And when he reached there, he found there was a challenge. They wanted somebody to fight Goliath, and everybody was afraid. But David was not afraid because he was trusting God, because he had also experience with fighting uh, wild animals like lions. They were fighting, he, uh, he, he used to fight off the animals that used to come to kill the that wanted to eat the sheep of the father. His father had so many goats and sheep and cows. So these wild animals, when they would come to attack the sheep, David was ready to fight them off, and he killed the lions. And it was not because he had so much power, but it was because he had God. And then... He told the king that I'm ready to fight Goliath. And the king said, you're so small, you cannot. And David said, no, I can do it. So they gave David a big armor to wear so that he can go and fight Goliath. But the armor was so strong for David. David said, no, I'll just go with my clothes and a small sling and a stone and I will defeat Goliath. So in verse 45 in First Samuel we see David accepted to go and fight Goliath and wait, went to face him. And Goliath despised David and said you are so small I am going to crush you but David responded very well and said these words. In verse 44, David said to the Philistine, You come against me with the sword and spear and javelin, but I come against you in the name of the Lord Almighty, the God of armies of Israel, Israel, whom you have defied. David, a little child like you, trusted in God to win every battle, trusted in God to give him strength to beat Goliath, the strong Philistine. And God gave David wisdom to defeat the big Philistine. Let us see how David defeated Goliath. So, in verse 48, the Bible says that as the Philistine moved closer to attacking him, David ran quickly toward the battle line to meet him, reaching into his bag, taking out a stone, and slung it. You know, I don't know if you know the sling. You put in a stone in the rope and you sling and then you release and the stone goes far and it goes with so much energy. And this stone went straight to, De to, to Goliath and hit him on the forehead. When a stone hits your forehead, it can kill you. So when the stone hit came with so much energy, it hit Goliath and broke his head. And he fell down. And when he fell, he came back and fell 
his face went straight into, into the, the sand. And the Philistine died. And David defeated a very big, strong man. David defeated Goliath because of the strength and wisdom from God. Dear children, you can be victorious. You can be winners if you trust in God. You can be very powerful only if you trust in God. Even if other people have spears and swords and many things, do not worry. Just trust in God and God will give you energy to defeat every challenge that comes your way. Our God will defeat coronavirus. Our God will defeat every disease in this world. Our God is for us and not against us. So dear children, I encourage you, as you remain in this lockdown, please read the word of God and know more about God because he will encourage you through these words of wisdom in the Bible. So today I would like to pray for you. I would like to pray that God will give you faith. I would like to pray that God will give you courage. And I will pray for you also that God will give you good health. Hallelujah, children. Amen. Let's pray together. Dear Lord, we thank you for the children. We thank you for good knowledge that you give them. We pray that you continue to bless them as they stay at home. Continue to bless them as they, want, they read the word of God. Give them wisdom to understand it. And give them also the strength to live their lives and help their parents at home. Protect them from diseases. Protect them every day as they wait to come out and meet their fellow children and go back to school and go about their lives in the way that you want them to live, Lord. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. God bless you.